so I recently tried to uh, mod Marvel Rivals, but um, the mod manager that's most popular is a Russian mod manager, and when I tried to install it, uh, it had some Trojan, uh, it said it was a virus, uh, but it said it was like Trojan.exe, or it was trying to run something uh, that I didn't feel comfortable uh, running. Uh, and then um, I tried to do it manually, and I realized it's a pretty simple process to actually install these mods. You just have to uh, put them in the correct Steam directory. Uh, so I was thinking, hey, uh, this is a good time to just, you know, make a quick project uh, and, you know, just make a, a better or uh, potentially just safer uh, mod manager that's easy to use. And uh, I'm thinking about making it an Electron and uh, learning that. So, yeah, if you want to join me for the process, yeah, then stick along. All right. So we have these mods right here uh, that we want. Uh, and then we have the folder where we actually have to put these mods in, which is uh, this Marvel game, uh, Marvel content packs. So if we move these into here, then the mods will be uh, inside the game. Okay, so right here we have the mod directory and the, uh, and the Steam directory here. So let's just start it up. All right, so you can see right here we have uh, all of the mods, and you can see that they're all off. Uh, and the reason for that is because if you see, these ones aren't in here right now. Uh, but if we uh, copy them over, see now they're all in here. They're all in the, the mods folder. All right, so then if we relaunch it, just like that, then you can see that these are all toggled on, meaning that uh, they're in here. So the the way I check this is just um, I I grab the checkbox once I make it uh, and then I just check if the uh, game packs the game packs uh, include the file that's uh, in the mod directory uh, and uh, just just to show the rest of the functionality you can uh, go ahead and change this to whatever you want so if I want to change it to that folder it'll change to that folder and you can see there's none in here now uh, let's go back here and it'll reselect um, and then you can also change, do the same with the mods directory uh, if I want to uh, just just turn it into here. Just and then if I want to fix it, then I just go here, and then it's all back here. So yeah, that's the progress so far. So far, doing this does nothing. But uh, uh, basically, the plan is that when I uh, I just add event listeners to these, and then when uh, it sees that something gets changed then it'll check what the name of this is uh, and it will basically just go into if, if it gets checked off uh, then it'll basically just say okay employee needs to get checked off and then i'll just delete this mod here because uh, we're going to keep all of the mods here normal and then we're just going to copy them over and then so so if we toggle it from off to on then it'll just copy over to here and if we turn it from on to off then we'll just delete it from here all right, so uh, now we got the toggles working. So you can see right here in our uh, in our mods folder, our packs folder, there's uh, nothing except for just like the normal stuff you'd have. Uh, but now when we, well, let's just do this Vegeta as Iron Man. Uh, and now you can see it just got added here. And uh, I can toggle this one on. Uh, and now that one's here. Here, you can see I can just add all those. And then if I want to turn them off, uh, go here, and they're all off now. Uh, and let's just see that they work. Um, let me just turn on uh, the employee, uh, and then uh, let's do CJ, and then also Vegeta, and then turn that on. All right, now that we've loaded in, you can see uh, these three mods are all loaded. And then you can see the other mod, which is uh, Jeff, is uh, right uh, here. You can see that this one isn't loaded. And also, the Punisher is not changed into uh, Big Smoke right there. You can see that's normal. I haven't actually tested this yet, but I wonder what will happen if I just add that right now. Uh, 
said it copied it over, which uh, is nice, but I don't know what will happen when I go here. Alright, so I just got my wisdom tooth removed about uh, four hours ago, or wait, actually seven hours ago. Uh, so I may sound a little weird, but uh, I'll try to keep it together because uh, I just finished it and uh, I packed it into an EXC and I'd like to show. So right here I just used Electron Builder and um, I just packed it all up. So you can see that there's the portable EXC right here. It's uh, about 73 uh, megabytes, which is, I mean, it's bigger than I'd want it, but I mean, it's a mod manager, so it doesn't really matter. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal, but yeah. You can run it like this. There's no uh, dependencies that it depends on. You can see, uh, I don't know if I've uh, shown the stylization, but you can see uh, I put an icon, custom icon here, and let's just see it working. So you can see that everything's uh, installed right now. You can see it's all selected. But if I go and deselect them all, you can see one by one, all of those patches are going out of the packs folder until they're not, none of them are there. So then if I wanna do this, I mean, I showed you this all before, but yeah, then you can see only this one's now in this uh, game directory. So yeah, uh, I should be good to push now. Uh, and yeah, that's probably, probably the end of the video because uh, I'll probably just be taking requests from other people to change it or, you know, accept in like GitHub requests after that. But, um, also, just quick changes, I'll probably just change this to C directory because um, this seems pretty static. It's pretty, uh, pretty, it, it pretty much static. It'll be exactly what it is. Mm, uh, but probably most people will be storing in C drive. Uh, and then I'll just leave this one blank for, um, for you to select it. Uh, so for some future updates, what I'm thinking, maybe I could uh, chuck both these into the into a second menu uh, under like a settings menu and then I can also have a little button to uh, start up the game itself uh, so you don't have to have you know two launchers open you don't have to have the the um, the steam launcher open uh, that may be helpful um, and then also uh, maybe I can consolidate this such that you kind of just drag and drop stuff and then it stores it in its own folder. But um, just to keep this application as small and portable as possible, I wanted it to just be, uh, you know, two directories that you set up. Very simple. Because, uh, I don't know, this is just kind of, this was just kind of my vision of the easiest, uh, most clean mod manager you want where, uh, you know, you kind of have control over, over uh, where your stuff goes. So yeah, um, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope I hope this is helpful. I hope you use it. Uh, and if you use it and you think it's trash, then please let me know what you'd want to change, because I'm definitely open to changing it. Uh, this isn't final, but um, that this isn't final, and that's the reason why I want to push it because you know it's open source. That's just the beauty of it. If people have uh, have requests, then I can just, you know, quickly implement that uh, rather than just, you know, adding a bunch of things that nobody even wants. So, um, yeah, I hope this is helpful. I hope somebody uses it. If you like the video or the mod manager, then like the video. If you disliked it, dislike it. Subscribe if you want. And yeah, that's the whole video. See you. Hey there, one last quick update. I also fixed this thing. Uh, so that it'll uh, continue being, um, it'll continue having the save directory when you uh, restart. So if I start that there, and do that again, you can see that the game directory is now saved. And then if I go back here, then you can see the things got toggled back on. And it got saved.